believing that you actually have the resources and wherewithal to achieve and experience what you desire. And I think that either we find people who have the resources and experiences, right? But they don't feel deserving of it. And I think we call that imposter syndrome. Like, I don't feel deserving of this life. It's too good. Why do I deserve this, right? So it affects their self-esteem. Or we have people who feel like that they deserve more, right? Who who feel like they deserve more in their life and they're excited about life, but they feel like they lack the resources and to re actually achieve what they want to experience in life. So either they feel like they lack the money, the support around them, the, the confidence, the whatever that is that they feel like they need to actually get it. So then now they have a, a, a low self-esteem and self-esteem actually calibrates on both levels. Look, I feel like I deserve this and I actually have the resources to accomplish this. And so the whole five things that you need to fix it is steps that you can take right now today to start to develop a good self-esteem and start to develop the confidence that you need to actually have this self-esteem, okay? So let's go into the F. So the F is for fear. <laughs> so again, the fix it analogy is really based on, well, let me tell you, I don't know if y'all heard this term though, fix it, Jesus. You know, I had to say that a couple of times this weekend, like fix it, Jesus. And so it's all about fixing it, right? Because we come from broken backgrounds. We come from broken systems. We come to, sometimes come from broken homes. We get it out of broken relationships. We worked in broken areas. So there's a fixing that needs to happen, right? And the F stands for because we came from these circumstances, we may acquire or have developed a level of fear, right? And fear on either the side of... Um, the deserving side, remember we talked about self-esteem, fear of, of actually saying what you feel like you deserve in life or fear that you don't have the resources that you need or how you're going to get the resources that you need to actually experience the life that you feel like you deserve, right? And it's interesting because, you know, I used to hear uh, fear is you know, false evidence appearing real, right? So this stuff is not true. It's just an illusion. But I feel like fear actually, I agree with that, but I also feel that fear comes from the lack of confidence, right? And so you don't really feel confident in your life. And so then fear now in some way engulfs that territory. So let's talk about confidence and how to build the confidence so we can overcome our fears. Um, I always say competence over confidence, right? This is how I handle fears. And this is how I recommend my clients to handle fears. It's competence over confidence. So for example, I don't feel confident to get on a podcast. I didn't feel confident to get on a podcast for a long time to speak in front of audiences or to put myself out there. I didn't feel confident about that but I felt competent in my ability to deliver sound advice, the resources, resources and solutions to help people to develop the skills that they needed. I was very competent in my skill set and in my mindset. And so because I'm competent, now I appear confident because I know what I'm talking about. And so to overcome this fear and start to fix it, right? Fix it, that self-esteem and confidence that you have in your life. I want you to list the things that you're competent in. Like, are you a